So the bike's got over 271 miles now. I picked it up with nine miles. Uh, before we dive right into what I think about the bike, I want to walk you through pretty much the crazy journey I took to get this bike. So I narrowed it down to this one and the R1. Long story short, I was back and forth between this bike and the R1M. And obviously I went with this. Uh, but I do know that a whole bunch of my friends who have S1000s, they absolutely love their bikes. And so that was definitely a big factor in uh, making this decision for sure. Um, so yeah, some factors to consider. The S1000, it's got three year, 36,000 mile warranty. It's got cruise control, heated grips, a larger display, and it's outputting more horsepower. It, it's 205 bone stock. And this thing is a UFO. I'm gonna tell you hands down, it feels stupid fast. And I'm actually very shocked of how the Germans engineered this, this thing. Um, it's so smooth, like you've heard that word before. Uh, extremely butter smooth, man. This bike feels like a magic carpet, like you're floating on the road. Like it's insane how comfortable this bike is. Um, the best commuter bike for sure. <laughs> I mean, I've never felt anything like it. It's fast. Even with the detuned US spec bikes and the rev limiter, this thing feels so fast. All right, I'm gonna go swing by and make a duplicate of my house key because I lost the other one. this thing is <laughs> holy shit yeah it's got that dead spot uh, 68,000 rpm but then it just sends you to Mars after those rpms you could definitely feel the uh, the buildup of the power but this this bike is nasty if you put a tune on it uh, what's this? Max wrist. He's pushing like 205 to the wheel with E85. That's crazy. But S1000s and ZX10s are definitely king of straight line. Yeah, just going back to all the features of this bike. I could go on and on and on. It's just got way more than the R1 has to offer and that's why I picked up this bike. Don't get me wrong, the R1's a great bike. Uh, but its purpose is mainly for the track. It's not the best road bike. And I've already got one that's not tamed as this, which is the Ducati. All right, let's get the hell out of here. One thing I do love about this bike, it starts instantly. It doesn't need a like crank. It's literally like, it just fires up. Unlike the Ducati. Takes a couple seconds for the Duke. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's got hill hold assist. So if you're on a, like an incline or a decline or it senses that your bike's on a 
like an angle um, it's gonna brake for you you don't need to step on your rear brake which is a really nice feature um, I believe this is the only super bike that has this and uh, this is decked out dude for the price you pay I got this 21,000 out the door um, I mean it's not below it's not above msrp it's just right at it uh these bikes they rarely go on sale so um but i'm extremely happy very surprised of uh how the germans engineered this bike so. Yeah, this thing's got a shift light as well. It's really bright. It's clear. And you can tweak it. This thing's got four rider modes. Uh, it doesn't have the rider modes pro or whatever that the M has, but I don't, I don't care about that. I guess what that M does is uh, you could tweak it specifically and tailor it more towards your riding style, but... I'm set with whatever Hans set up in the factory in Germany. I'm good. All right, freeway time. The quick shifters butter. Uh, the downshift and the upshift really smooth. Uh, it's not as clicky as the Ducati. I do like the Ducati a little bit more in terms of quick shifting but I can't really compare it right now because that Ducati's decked out it's got a flash uh, race filters and an exhaust so I can't this bike is like it's super stable too man it's it's so easy to ride It's definitely a UFO. It's stupid fast. And this is not even unlocked yet. It, it feels, it just feels faster than the V4. And I can tell you that. It's got shift cam technology and whenever you shift, it wants to launch you another 100 feet. And again, this, this bike is bone stock. Holy shit. Did I say this bike has heated grips? It does. Look at that. It just feels so planted. Holy crap. Auto canceling turn signals. What? What else? <laughs> Holy! If you're ever contemplating on getting an S1000, think no more. Just get it. Uh, the 2020s and up are freaking monsters. The past S1Ks are really good too, but this one's just slightly refined. It's got more tech on it for sure hate when they do this they just camp the freaking left lane let's go dude it's actually dangerous to do that see it makes me do like i don't like doing that that maneuver i hate it but you just got to do it to get away from them like there's no other way uh, this guy rocking the drop top you're sitting more of an upright position it's not as aggressive as the Ducati but but you could definitely tuck more uh, the full tuck position it feels really good like I'm six foot two 
230 pounds, so I'm a big guy. Uh, the pegs are a little bit higher than the Ducati, uh, but it's not a big deal. You're still comfortable uh, because the riding position's more uh, upright, like I was saying. Obviously, it's not like an adventure bike where you're perfectly 90 degrees, but you're not as hunched over comparing to the Panigale. Alright, we're back. Swapped out batteries. Yeah, this bike is amazing, man. Um, extremely happy with purchasing this bike. Don't get me wrong, the R1s are great. Uh, but for my purpose, of riding I wanted to get something where I could rack up a ton of miles in the street uh, my primary purpose of this bike is street riding so I've already got the Panigale if you want to take that to track I mean you could definitely take this to track no issue there but I'm just saying that the R1 is definitely geared towards track riding and, and twisties and all that jazz uh, whereas this is pretty much a 600 on steroids. If that's if that's how it's going to summarize it, it's an amazing bike. It's a UFO, a 600 on steroids, and it's got all the creature comforts you could imagine. Uh, I'll definitely go in depth uh, later on, but the purpose of this video is just my initial impressions, and I'm very, very blown away. I'm not just saying this because I just dropped 20 plus grand on a super bike and I've, I'm very honest with my reviews um, it's very hard to find or nitpick the things I don't like about this bike I mean it's got its own character a lot of people say it's soulless I completely disagree <laughs> this thing is freaking wild uh, especially when you put an exhaust on it uh, it does vibrate a little bit, uh, it's sporadic, it's not all the time, it's just, I don't know, but, like, yeah, it's sporadic. Sometimes it vibrates, like the handlebars will vibrate, and sometimes it won't, but it's, it's not even a big deal, so. Plus, you can set the cruise control on this bike at, like, very low speed, some, like, 19 20 miles an hour you could set it at any gear which is really good um, in terms of flickability this bike is extremely light uh, it's 420 something pounds wet weight that's the m spec so this bike is probably what, another 10 15 pounds heavier because of the standard cast aluminum wheels yeah anyways so I've been talking quite some time I want to wrap this video up uh, in summary this bike is badass it's light it's nimble it's stupid fast it feels faster than my Ducati it handles like a dream it's like on rails it feels every time you take a turn you just you could like pretty much elbow drag if you want it's whatever the um, the magazines were saying, like the 44 Teeth guys, Motorcyclist Magazines, MCN. This is the number one bike, man. Uh, after riding the Ducati for quite some time. Don't get me wrong, it's apples and oranges, right? Uh, they're totally two different machines. But I can see how this is king of the uh, street and king on track. So... What a great package. Well done to the Germans uh, and their engineering team for creating a masterpiece for us consumers and us riders. Uh, very, very impressed with this bike and if I were to do it again, I'll definitely choose the same exact bike. Uh, I love this color. It's the, uh, I believe it's the metallic gray, mineral gray, something like that. but. In any case, uh, yeah, man, this bike is not even tuned. It just feels so fast. Holy crap. 
and it's got a limiter. 